Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 40 Round of 64 match between Stand By November and Store Baby. Which is how you pronounce it, right? Yes, yeah, that's the precise a... way of saying store. <laughs> he is a, a German I, I, fellow. Yeah, I heard you had to somehow pronounce the um, the O in the middle as a zero. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> certainly prior to this game, that's the number of uh, of chalice wins he's had, isn't it? He's at zero percent. Yes, in every three games of the chalice, quite famously. <laughs> Store the guy with a 70% win rate with halflings because he's in CCL, which is incredible because he's gone 0 0 3 in Chalice. <laughs> it's now it's now a 0% win rate in Chalice, is the thing, which is very, very harsh. But there you go. Well, um, I mean, let's face it, Jimmy, that's uh, you know, that's even mildly worse than Andy Davos, so <laughs> it is notable. That's true. Um, but yeah, so Stor, this time he's taken Undead in an effort to uh, break this curse, I guess. Um, he is down TV though, he's got a wizard, and you know, it's uh, it's Undead versus Undead. There's there's guard on both sides, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe he's trying to prove that a very solid team just like Undead are not... Uh, any different from half wins if he loses in in the early rounds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> he's got the guard advantage, but um, there are a bunch of nice skills on the uh, on standby November's team, aren't there? Like uh, the um, as I recall from the deep and intricate look we had at all the teams when doing the draw, Jimmy. Um, I don't recall any of the undead teams standing out to me in any way whatsoever. They all looked sort of all right. Yeah, none of them looked really special. Um, perhaps one is going to develop into something that that becomes a bit of a favourite, but there wasn't anything you thought. Oh, there, there's a really useful weapon. I can see them really taking some teams apart. And of course, undead really strong up the TV, but tend to, to hit a ceiling at about seventeen, eighteen hundred. Yeah. At which point, other teams just go past them. Yeah, that, that there's a plus strength. Um, um... Blitzer? Uh, what's nice the name? Cast. Blitzer? A white. Yeah. Yeah. White. Yes. Yeah. Strength four. Strength four white. And, and there is like seven guard on Star's team. Like seven guard is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with any of the undead teams. Like I said, they're all really solid. They're all fine. But none of them are just... They, they all seem to lack the X factor a little bit. Hmm. Which is like seeing a lot when you've got seven guard. <laughs> like you've got three doubles. <laughs> and you've got seven guard and it's still lagging. That, that says everything you need to know about Undead really, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah, you probably need yeah, I, mean, I think on top of that you sets. probably need a couple of good ghouls as well. And the ghouls are a bit ordinary. Yeah, there's, there's a nice or... ghoul uh, for, for standby November here. He's got his... He's got his Ash Fall... So yep. he's got the stats, he's got the edge 4 ghoul and the strength 4 white, whereas Stora has got 3 extra guards. Yep. That was an excellent foul there, in a very important piece, very early in the game. Yeah, he rolled shit though, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. he did. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> but, yeah. I took toilet on dice there. But no, a nice foul, nice supported one, lots and lots of assists in there, isolated it well. Yeah, he invested uh, the whole position of his team in that turn because he went back with the ball and, and, and yep. in order to do that. Now, the huge advantage of a strength four piece, of course, is blitzes from any angle unless you're constantly on the floor. <laughs> mm. But it does mean, of course, because he because he swung around here, it means that he could swing back round and foul this one, but I don't think he's going to. He's not going to have many assists no. if he does. And he's taking advantage that that the the dirty player has no he shot at that point. Right? Jim, it looks like we have gone instead of one and we're defending sides here against each other. <laughs> it is a thirteen-year-old disco. All the boys are on the left side of the wall. All the girls on the right <laughs> side of the wall. And three of them dancing in the middle. Oh, that is a send off. That's a, that is an absolute gym foul. Uh, Stall loving that, hating having stand firm instead of tackle on this white though. I'm sure. Do you put your foot on the mummy again? I don't think you can yeah. afford to. Lots of NAF players don't use a lot of tackle, and I think that's wrong. The problem with NAF is, of course, 
there's wood elves, so you've almost got to have tackle then, haven't you? Certainly that's my view. If you plan to be up at the challenging end of tournaments, you're going to have to face wood elves. It's really not less of a problem in, in the in the seat, in the chalice, right? You can easily just win the title without having to face them, and probably most teams yeah. that aren't wood elves that have won the title have done so without facing wood elves. <laughs> that's a thing. Not even that many wood elves qualify every season for how good they are. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, they, they of course excel. I mean, they're good at everything, but they particularly excel at resurrection because you know, they do die being AV7. Yep. Um, so keeping them alive long enough for a good chalice run can be challenging. It is a very bash heavy environment. Mm. Lots of Wood Elf coaches talk about not really the wins being a problem, but the living. Yep. Mm. Store saying just putting pieces in the right squares. That is the best thing about tackle because it puts them in this square. <laughs> the absolute best square <laughs> to put an elf in. <laughs> or a ghoul. No. Not this time. So yeah, he's got all the stats, he's got a move ghoul as well. So yeah. Stand my November has a has a move has a move up, a strength up, and an edge up. Whereas Store hasn't has all base stats, which is Oh no, he's got to move. He's got to move. Go with wrestle, which is a bit lame, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it's you know it's useful, it's fast, but it's it's a bit meh. Like I said, all of the undead teams, they none of them are terrible. All of them have got a nicely built, really solid lineups. Hate that. Nothing you look at and think, well, that's an easy win, but none of them seem that good. I hated that sidestep. I don't know why. Like, what? What? You should. Sure the wrong have... direction, didn't it? Yeah, you're giving him. A, you're next to the dirty player who's got an assist to foul him. <laughs> oh, one in eighty-one though. Could he? Of have course, he was removed him? by the pom. Now, I, I, everyone thinks I hate um, pom. I don't. I think against AV7, it's the perfect time to pom because there the numbers really are very, very good. Um, against it, I just hate it against AV9, and I, yeah. hence it's not a first choice for me on uh, without claw. With claw, obviously, it's a fantastic score. Yeah, yeah, I think that was right because you you want to hit other things later. You've, it's just unlucky that isn't it? One and eight, one. Nothing you can do about yeah. that, and it didn't yeah, come no, with I think the that was the right hit. or anything. Oof! Wow. The double ones. You can push. Yeah, there's a lot of this turn key now, fails you? coming in here, aren't they? Turn after turn. Yep. This is a nice turn. You can uh, you can push up. You can pom pom this ghoul as well. Yeah, absolutely. No pomming another ghoul is is to be advised. And yeah, I think you need to. But then I always do, don't you? I think you need to make use of that big open space in front of you. There's a, a gaping hole. Oh, he's gonna foul. He's gonna foul this strength four, maybe. Interesting. I would have, uh, I would have gone for just, this one. Yeah, me too. Sorry guys, I need to run now. Uh, thank you for having me, uh, Jim, and I leave you in the best company possible. <laughs> thank you, yeah. Oh, well, that's Glorious not true. You leave. Anyway. See you around. Um, and mainly the reason I'd have gone for the other one is then the whole team could have headed forwards and fouled it, but no, he wanted this foul on the uh, first round. Yeah. Which, which is a great player to foul, right? It's a great player yeah. to foul. But, and um, he is in an on-field position where, you know, speed, he's got the speed, he doesn't really need to make those moves forward, but yeah. theoretically it could cost him this this slight passivity. Yeah. I mean, he's in such a dominant position that it's very yeah, difficult. Really yeah, so there's the mummies off, loads of other players are off. And that was definitely six, higher than the other team has on. six on, so yeah, I don't think, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just like going. I like going for this like ghouls just because they can't reach and is, is like yeah, one yeah, of the biggest things. But then yeah, on the other hand, this guy can pull me back if you don't foul him out. Like I, I guess he would have been so like if you surround him with a guard, then he's not really going to be able to hit you anyway, is he? So yes, I mean you try and isolate and control, but killing is even better. Yeah, yeah. and obviously now make the break away. Um, and yeah, there he score. goes. Well, we do still have to control this rackle piece, but it, it shouldn't be an issue. So I think it comes down to not if, not that you think you're going to score on this drive, but you, that you're just going to win the game anyway, right? If you think yeah. you're going to win the game, then pomming, like, fouling out the pom and trying to kill the pom is much more important than killing the ghouls. I think generally the ghouls are going to be more important for winning the game, but yep. 
obviously though that Pom White can easily win the game on his own as well, so it's interesting, isn't it? He's just he's just less likely to be crucial than you know some kind of uh, cool action. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know what I mean. I just can't speak English. Sorry. Well, I mean, people always complain because regen is so very good, and it is. Um, but undead teams, you know, they just live in fear of a, a casual mummy death that doesn't regen. Or yeah. a developed white death, death that doesn't regen, because they just don't have any depth on the team whatsoever. Yeah. They lose one of those key pieces, they're in such trouble, so limiting attrition once you think you've won can be really important. <laughs> he just walked up and ran away! He yeah. must have misclicked the blitz, he must have got a 1D blitz! <laughs> ran up there, realised he hadn't declared a blitz and just ran away again! <laughs> I just thought he went up and gave him a little kiss or something. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> just full on asserted dominance, just went up and went ha! Smacked him round the face and ran off. Yeah, that was a proper hack. Amazing. Could have done the blitz on him, could have pommed him. I guess it doesn't matter. Three rookies. There isn't a rookie to foul with, is there? But two assists is pretty decent still on that goal. Yeah. Maybe even make it three. Can you make four. it four? No. Oh yes, the run up. Love to see it. Yeah, that was the problem, wasn't it, really? Yep. That would have been ideal to have had a rookie left to a foul with a rookie and then you don't care if he gets sent off. Right? But you still want to foul, right, but not having regen. Yes. I, st I still, you know, just it not working doesn't mean it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. But I would much prefer to foul him without, with a with a rookie if there'd be been one on the pitch. But there wasn't. So yes. I would have still yeah, fouled you, him with you, a dirty player. You do it with a bigger smile in that case. Yeah. You still do it by the way. Yeah. Hey. Luckily, he gets the stun on that guy. Otherwise, he was trading that knockdown for getting a ghoul pommed, which seems yeah mad foolish. Mm. If you ask me. Can we die this, can we? Yep. Glorious 3D. Reroll it as well, just don't roll triple skulls. Boo! <laughs> yeah, at that point you just. I know it's extremely unlikely, but you just can't, can you? No, I, would, I wouldn't have rerolled. The one in 216s is. <laughs> I wouldn't have re-rolled it, but it's probably, I mean, it's almost certainly correct to do it, isn't it? But, uh, well, 215 out of 216 times, it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I think most of us wouldn't do that, because <laughs> you, you know you'd roll the double, you'd roll, you know you'd roll the triple skulls, and you'd be like, fuck, <laughs> what an idiot. The heat, oh, how might the heat affect things? Um, blood step ghoul. And a mummy. Wow, the mummy's a big, big miss. Well, that's actually, that's, that's good, isn't it? Because this is this is just for one turn now. This is for the yeah, which means it's guaranteed turn. to be back actually for next turn, doesn't it? Yeah, it means yeah. it doesn't make him a heat roll. So actually, if the heat stays, that's a good miss. Yeah. And then uh, this this one he's been white. benched so that yeah, he's Yeah, we're seeing him up benched bench for the same reason, so that he's definitely there for the next half. Yeah, nice. Nice play. Smart use of the uh, heat mechanic there. Mm. Oh, we're seeing a one turn attempt. Yeah, move eight. You've got the sexy move eight ghoul, I suppose you've got to try and use it. Yeah. Using the whole method though, so he deserves to fail. <laughs> There'll be no justice if this is a one turn. Good. Good. Yeah, it's not. Also, that would have been a three dice as well. Like that's just that's it's just, just a casual casualty. It's literally unforgivable to make that a two D. 
um, and use the whole method. Um, yes, Di diabolical, as uh, Billy Butcher would say. Diabloody bolical. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't even have the guard, the grabbers back up yet. Well, there you go, huge heat rolls. Nothing off the store, and a guard, tackle, mighty blow, stand firm, white, and a rackle zombie off for stand by November. Brutal. It's possibly the worst aspect of heat rolls is how unfair they can be. Yes, I, I hate it. I, hate um, I mean, in the new rule set, they've made them slightly fairer, haven't they? In that you lose the same number from each side. Yeah. But of course, if you lose two zombies and they lose both their mummies, that's still going to be um, a little unbalancing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little. He's going to go for the quick score here. Like he's got the more value in getting the heat players back, hasn't he? Yeah, and his team looks pretty shit now, doesn't it? <laughs> so, I think... How many players has he got? So maybe Storm made a mistake setting up with a rule of five. Or does Manny get to perfect defence? Like, this rule of five, maybe he shouldn't have... Well, it wasn't really a rule of five. But, you know, the offset-ish rule of five. Maybe he should have just been, a, like, a Chevron's kind of self. Five, six, seven, eight. There's only nine players. Maybe he should have done a more wider... Normal setup. It's very difficult to cover the wings effectively without 11 on the field, isn't it? But um, certainly you can put more in the way than he did. Um, and surprisingly, he still doesn't seem to be trying to do that. Yeah, no, I, I, I like I like covering. I, I would have covered and just tried to beat him. And I wouldn't want to hope for a good whiz. I just think you, you use the whiz if you have to. I, I do not like him. Someone who like some this guy wanted to score a fast touchdown, and you've kind of let you've kind of let him do what he wants, haven't you? By doing this, no, I did not like this. To be honest, I think just play hard defense, and and you know, if you have to, if you if you have to wizard, like it's an extra thing you've got, isn't it? I wouldn't want to like just hope for a good one. Yeah, it's not. It is the strange. I mean, it was so telegraphed that he was coming up this flank. Um, yeah. Has he has he come a little too quickly? <laughs> Don't <laughs> like this screen. Yes. Yeah, so now, obviously, it has worked Sorry, out this way. That's this been said to me before. I do echoes. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's the problem, right? This screen wizard, like, it was an incredible opportunity to wizard, but then rolled a one, and yeah, that now all of a sudden, you've just given him all the space for nothing. Why are we not just three-plussing through that non-screen? I mean, presumably we are with something, just not with the white. Yeah, not the white. I don't know why the white didn't do that. Ah, because the first two pieces we've put in have screwed, screened the ghoul off from where we plan to knock this ball carrier over so that the other ghoul can't come and sort it out afterwards. Right. I think, if you look at the angles they're at. I still would have probably liked to have hit him with tackle, but then I guess hitting him with... Because he's already got wrestle, so hitting him with tackle's definitely better, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And considering the number of dodges you're doing, I would have dodged with the tackle white to do it. Mm. Though I'm sure he also doesn't really care if it fails, because they're going to score and he gets the ball back. It's one of those situations, it's nice to turn it over, but as long as you've put pressure on it... Yeah, but that's the thing, the heat, exactly, the heat can just fuck you here, like, the, the heat would have definitely been in my mind, because, you know, I've been burned so many times, and obviously I have had luck with the heat as well, but... Yeah. Um, oh, I mean, Jim, you're like me, if you can avoid the variance, if you can just, you know, have stopped that touchdown, take the ball away, then it's all much simpler. the game's just won, you don't need to 
worry about things that, as you say, can still go horribly wrong. But if he loses five to the Heat and the opponent won, suddenly <laughs> that's a tough position. Yeah, I think I think all he... those things happen. Yeah, I, th I think standby November is in such a horrible spot there, like down to nine players or whatever. It's so easy to like defend him, isn't it? Like it's pretty like. Yeah. It's not so easy, but it's pretty easy to defend when you've got 11 and they've got 9 and you've got a wizard as backup. I think you just try and stop him, to be honest. And yep, oh god, there is the heat. It's a, it's a guard, zombie, and a guard mummy. But still a, still, lots of players, right? Still about 10 players? Yep. 9. 9 players. But not too terrible. Um, and, his heat and on the other side, there's the 1 heat. Yep, 10. 10. So now you're down a player. Yep. Yeah. So the good, the quick score was exactly the perfect thing to do. It was a great plan. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe Stall's going to lose this as well. <laughs> oh, and then he's down as well for eight players versus ten now, and now it's oh my god, triple skull. <laughs> there was the triple wow. skull if you'd re-rolled it anyway. <laughs> How old pepper biscuit? Yeah, I mean, that is the thing, yeah, Stor, like, exactly what you said happened, that you had that opp great opportunity to wizard, but, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I would have just tried, well, I say I would have tried, I mean, I, obviously I don't know what I've done, because there's, there's games where I would have thought I would have done something the completely opposite, and I've watched my own games back and thought, what the hell was I doing, but, yeah, yeah. What, <laughs> what I think from an optimal Blood Bowl perspective is, um... Yeah, the fact that he had set up to score early means he wants to score early and you should probably... Like, I always say that if my opponent, if I could start every game 1-0 down and getting the ball on, like, you know, turn two, I would do. But, yeah, the, the heat is a different thing, isn't it? The heat, you know, he was in such a bad spot as well. Like, it wasn't the first half, it was the second half. Yeah, was, yeah, absolutely. Um, he was suffering more from the heat. He was 1-0 down. He had s small numbers. Uh, it was obvious he was pushing up the side. The perfect defence not covering that, just giving that side to him, I thought was a mistake. Yeah. And then I didn't particularly like the plan to assault the ball. Um, though, as Stor says, in his defence, he's absolutely spot on. If the whistle, if the whistle hadn't fizzled, <laughs> yeah, if yeah. the whizzy had got busy instead of being dizzy. <laughs> yeah, five times out of six, that's a very successful defence. But. I don't know, I just don't feel like you need to work to make the wizard better, you know? And I don't think you need to, like, give this trap space bollocks that, <laughs> that A. Dev and Dio like to spout uh, <laughs> kind of nonsense. I just don't think you need any of that. I just think you need to, to just lock him down and then if somehow he gets some kind of bullshit going, then you can just, you can just drop the wizard on him and tidy it up. Now, he does. He has ghouls in his backfield. They're coming for his ball. Yeah. Sure this, this largely indistinguishable bunch of extremely bland ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> can he hit here and assist? Is that the idea? Yeah, he can. So yeah, that's, that's, that's really nice, isn't it? Because then you've yep. got the full screen. And you also get this 2D. Not, not following. Yeah, and not sidestepping onto the point where you can move one of the screen walls on a one die and yeah. have easy access to the ball, with both of which seem terrible decisions, but okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you've got to follow if he sidesteps to here, which you would have thought yeah. he would have sidestepped to there, so you yeah. thought you'd have had to have followed. But he Once he's so he up there, you don't have to follow, but I probably would have done, even though it would just be giving yep. him kind of an easy 2D. I think I would have done just so yep. you've got a tackle on him and you can't do something different. Yep, all of that. <laughs> and a bowl of grits. Oh, there's the Double Skulls. That ghoul refusing to die in ways that can't be popular. Now this this guard's on this guard this pom tackle pom is on the uh, 
Yeah, yeah, no, obvi like that's obviously the thing, right? You know that that this guy would have come and he would have just hit that guy and knocked him over anyway, and then would have he would have still had the assist for the blitz and everything. I, I get that he would have just knocked the guy over anywhere, but I would it's have still just an action he has to do him. rather than a freedom of choice as to where he goes. Yeah, I would have just sort of automatically done it. I'm not saying it was it was definitely right or anything. I just think it's one of those re kind of reflex things that I would have just. I would have just followed him. So this is a fairly nice screen he's built. Oh god, uh, don't roll a 1 or a 2 there. That yeah. was a terrible play. That was, that was really nice. Like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, it, it's sometimes the problem store when people do the unexpected because they maybe don't know better. Um, sometimes it's really hard to play against or plan for. Yeah. Yeah, I would have definitely expected the sidestep into contact and then yeah. would have followed. Because he would have gone there. But if he doesn't go there, then you think, oh, do I have to follow? And maybe not. And it's fair, you know, so I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm not I don't know which is better. And it probably is worse yeah. to follow because you probably do just get banged out. Um, but still, I just think I would have done. That's all it was. I'm not saying I think it's better. I just think I would have done. <laughs> Now there's a tackle stand firm on the ball, which is uh, a little bit dodgy, isn't it? It's a worry. The whole thing's worrying now, really. Just so few yeah. players, so few yeah. options. This is all... yeah. We've opened with reds. I, I get why to try and just push that hole to run out through, but it's, yeah. It, that's a bleak outcome. I mean, it's a bleak attempt, isn't it? Yeah. But then I, I didn't see a lot better, so I, I respect why it had to happen. Yeah. 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 Fails and, yeah. At that point, you did need to try and be lucky, so I, I don't hate that you failed when trying to be lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's all fine, so, you know, this is these things happen. Yeah. With a coach as excellent as you with a plus 70% record with halflings, let alone when you play actual proper races, yeah. uh, has lost four out of four games in the challenge. That's just, I mean, that's not to be joked about, is it? That's not funny. That's, that's <laughs> shameful. That's, that's a stain on your character. The game you've chosen to play that you believe you're so good at. And yet a chalice winner leads you. I mean, surely it can't forever. Um, yeah. Although they do eventually turn it off, don't they, I suppose? That's true. Uh, what's more pressing, of course, for Store is that uh, Store has, of course, taken four attempts and has not won a chalice game. And a certain Dimmy G may be succeeding in his first attempt to win his chalice game. Yes. Well, I mean, we do live in the Dimmyverse. He is... Uh, <laughs> He is very much the coming man. <laughs> I think it is. I think the store has absolutely committed to the meme of, uh, of him being a 0% coach. So that's, uh, that's brilliant. Well done. Yeah. Going to qualify only halflings for the rest of time. <laughs> Who's that wonderful dwarf coach that got to the final? Or Sparky. I mean, Sparky won some games in the chalice. Yeah. yeah. I've got a chair, I think, can coach to that sort of thing. <laughs> it's been in the room while I've talked about Blood Bowl enough. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much put a biscuit. It was, uh, I mean, yeah. It's interesting, right? But, uh, but I, didn't, I didn't agree with the strategy personally. Uh, but obviously, five times out of six, it, it works fine. Yeah. Yes, it's not necessarily what I would have done, but it's not something I'm going to massively criticise either, because it should have worked. It, you know, it was a plan with a decent outcome, and yeah. very high chances of that outcome. And I'm kidding, of course, Store, you know we love and respect you as a coach, or else we wouldn't take the piss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Last reroll gone, and he had to do that like he had to, didn't he? Because... I mean, not really, because of course it could have been a 4 plus 3 plus, and then this way, if it pushes, it's only a 3 plus. But on the other hand. Um... No, it isn't, Storp. Sorry, Jimmy. 
that's okay. You've, you've, you've just away. you've got you've got to go for it though, because you might break his armor, and if you break his armor, it's definitely successfully defended, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it, the five out of six isn't too terrible in this position. It's um, it's a good plan, but it can't be the only plan. Um, and I mean, no, no, it wasn't. I know you were then, you know, quite unlucky to fail the dodge through and things, but like I said, I just felt I, I would have you know, been pushing everything towards the plan. Yeah. You know, my setup, my choice of, of where I attack and what I'm blitzing. Um, and I thought that perfect defense was such a, a missed opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have already, great, great, like, probably just tried to defend, you know, chevrons anyway yeah. rather than the, than the offset thing. And then, yeah. And then he wrote you a big letter saying, here's exactly what I intend to do because of the heat and because of the fact that I'm in a worse position than you because of the heat. And you went, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's to be learned from. <laughs> And yeah, store, store always wins the champion. <laughs> oh my god, look at the heat. Imagine if that had been the heat after he scored quickly. Yeah. Then um, then it would be like, well that was a great defence. had nothing on the other side. And pe people say QCOM events are unbalanced. I, I don't understand. <laughs> god, could you imagine that? <laughs> Nice one scoring early, dickhead. <laughs> Are you going to defend with five players? <laughs> so, yeah, that's... Uh, that's but now, of course, system. it's perfect, because now those players can't get hurt even by a rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you want your entire team actually off with heat, don't you? Yeah. No, because if you can't line up enough people, they get a touchdown and the clock's advanced, so you need just enough to set up. Yes, yes, that's you. you'd want one player, one rookie... One rookie uh, zombie on the LOS, and that's it. I, um, I presume that's been coded into Blood Bowl too. I mean, I, I always assume the actual rules are coded in, and often they're not. No, that's true. It was funny, I always used to have to answer people, you know, like, ask, ask questions of, like, Blood Bowl 1. I could only answer the actual real rules, and I'm like, I don't know how it works in Blood Bowl 1, but <laughs> this is the rules yeah, of Blood it's, Bowl. It's supposed to work this way. Maybe it does. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out whether they've bothered. Yeah. Um, well, that was a game um, to, as I said, really not bad, but just not exciting undead teams banging into each other um, and one of them won and the other one didn't yeah yeah like that, that, the, the thing is the thing is like yes there was the chance of the wizard and stuff but the, the that was like the only way he wins right the only way yeah. he wins is if he gets that quick score and then yeah. and then like gets favourable heat result after it is is the only way he wins so yeah. that's why I would have tried to defend harder personally but I'd have put everything I had into defending that touchdown because you know, I had the better of the heat because heat was a big random factor when I was already ahead. So I don't want big random factors. Exactly. Yeah. Don't want randomised equity. <laughs> no, it's exactly what you do want if you're behind. Yeah. Is you want something that rolls a big dice that could change everything. Yeah. Um, so that's what his plan was, and you should have read that really, uh, personage of your quality and experience. Yeah. But, but, but it's it, all, you know, it didn't happen, and that's fine. Yeah, and it still might have worked anyway. So there you go. Uh, yeah, you absolutely. It, it still should have worked anyway. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, exactly. Store. I think that's pretty much what we're saying. Yeah. 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 Well, you didn't do enough to prevent those options. I mean, you know, if you've ever listened to me, there's no reason you should. I'm very boring. But one of the things I do talk about is that Blood Bowl is about not planning for success, but planning for coping with failure, and then coping with that failure minute by minute in every turn. And I didn't think you planned for enough failure. Yeah, too optimistic. A bit like Rick Reckless. <laughs> right. Well, although I was very impressed with how he. Uh, he well, no spoilers. But then, no spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, PC. But let, let's wrap okay. this one up, and then we'll do the the Rick, the Rick game. So, uh, congratulations. Stand by November. Commiserations. Store. Thank you very much, PC. Um, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.